Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgamerman.com. The next question is, what are your current BIOS settings for your setup? Well, currently, I have the Asus P5E3 Deluxe Wi-Fi motherboard with an Intel Q6600 CPU at 3.6 gigahertz. I have four gigabytes, two modules of two gigabytes each of Crucial PC3 10600 memory with a SwiftTech water cooling kit. Now, all the other components in my system is listed in the description on the YouTube page. So you can click on that and you can see the other components that are in my particular setup. The first thing you need to do is go into the AI tweaker of the BIOS. So I'll just start reading here uh, the settings that I have that enable me to overclock the system as far as I did. In the AI tweaker area of the BIOS, the AI overclock tuner is set to manual. The CPU ratio setting is 9. The front side bus strapped to North Bridge is 400. The front side bus frequency is 400. The PCI Express frequency is 100. The DRAM frequency is 1600. The DRAM control rate is 2. The DRAM timing control is set to manual. The CAS latency is 8. The RAS to CAS delay is 8. The RAS pre-charge is 8. The RAS Active time is 20, and all the other memory timings are set to auto except for the last two. The DRAM static read control is disabled, and the DRAM dynamic write control is also disabled. The AI clock twister is set to auto. The AI transaction booster is also set to auto. Now, the rest are uh, voltage settings. Well, the next section is voltage settings. The CPU voltage is set to 1.55. The CPU PLL voltage is 2. The front side bus is set to 1.5. DRAM voltage, 2.1. The north bridge, I have set to 1.7. The south bridge, 1.2. And the clock over charging voltage, I have, this, I have it set to 1. The load line calibration, I have set enabled. The CPU GTL voltage reference is auto. The Northbridge GTL voltage reference is auto. The CPU spread, spread spectrum is disabled. The PCI Express spread spectrum is also disabled. The next settings are in the advanced CPU settings area. The CPU ratio setting is 9. The C1E support is disabled. The max CPU ID value limit is enabled. The Vanderpool technology is enabled. The CPU TM function is enabled. The execute disable bit is enabled. And the PC, PECI, sorry, PECI is disabled. That's the last one. Now remember, these are my particular settings for my particular setup. And if you get, for example, different memory or a different CPU or a different motherboard, this is not going to work for you. And even if you have all the same components, there's no guarantee that you're going to get the same overclock. And remember one important thing. Cooling is really what it's all about. If you have enough cooling in your CPU, you can really push it to all kinds of limits. I have, remember, a SwiftTech water cooling system on the CPU, and that's going to make a world of difference, especially when your CPU is at max load. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about overclocking your system. Hope this answers your question, and keep your questions coming.